Wow, you guys, I am so blown away by the comments that I received yesterday. I mean, I just felt so loved and carried and um, seen. I, I just thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for everything that you said. And, you know, I just cut all ties with my fear of death. I just cut those ties because I made some sort of partnership with the enemy on that one somewhere along the line <laughs> because this has been plaguing me for a while. So I just renounce my fear of death and I leave it at the cross and I give it to the Lord. And I thank you guys for reminding me that to live is Christ and to die is gain. Really needed to hear that. Really needed to remember that. Um, and, um, you know, yesterday was my first mother's day without Jackie. And, um, I think that was playing on me as well because she was very, very much like a mother to me. And, um, obviously I spent every mother's day with her. So there was just a real emptiness there. Um, a real missing piece. So again, I thank you for your comments. And so now let's get into a little God morning cam. Um, so the word I have today is Peter 1, and it is uh, Peter 1, 9. Resist him, the enemy, <clears throat> steadfast in faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. But may the God of all grace, who called us to his, his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after you have suffered a while, perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. To him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I love that it says, uh, resist the enemy steadfast in faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. You know, the enemy tries to get all of us and he is um, relentless. And that is uh, why we have to be prepared for battle and, you know, have our weapons ready to go. Um, and we got to sharpen our sword, you know, every single day. And that's why I just love doing this morning scripture with you guys because it is like a sharpening of the sword every single morning so praise god for that um bow bow b o w that is believe obey and worship so i'm gonna bow today to our lord i'm going to believe obey and worship him and I highly encourage all of you guys to bow today as well. Let's believe, obey, and worship our Father in heaven. Um, going to my holy notes here, I wrote down some really cool things this morning when I was doing my reading. Um, yeah, uh, you know, I just want to say, like, every unclean spirit that is living inside of me or is living inside of you that is operating inside of us, you know, we don't have to live like that. We do not have to live like that. The Lord does not want us to live with unclean spirits that are continuing to operate in our lives. You know, there are some things that I've struggled with for years and years and years and years, and it's becoming more evident to me that like that type of oppression and suffering that goes on for years and years is totally unnecessary when we're walking with Jesus because he's given us the freedom. He's given us the freedom in Christ. He shed the blood. He's given us the tools with the word to be able to overcome these. And that's not to shame me and that's not to shame you and it's not to make you feel bad. It's not to make me feel bad because trust me, I have suffered from a lot of things that have plagued me for years and years and years and I'm still working on that. But what I'm starting to realize 
the more I'm digging into scripture and the more I'm maturing in my Christian walk is that these things, I, I have the power to renounce them in Jesus name. And so do you. So like, for instance, my fear of death, which I made that real clear yesterday that this is something that, um, really brings me down. Um, that is something that I should be renouncing every time I start to hear that whisper of, oh, you're going to be away from your children and death is brutal and you're going to grow old and you're going to be in pain and all your organs are going to shut down one by one. You know, it's like when I start to hear those whispers, I need to tell Satan to get back and I need to say he who is in me is more powerful and stronger than you who is in the world. And I need to remind myself that I am a child of God who is destined for my glory and my prize. Guys, there's such a prize. There's such a prize on the other end in Jesus Christ. Through Jesus Christ, there's such a prize. And I'll never forget when I was laying in bed after some postpartum depression that I was having. It's getting hot in here. Sorry if I'm sweating my booty off. I was laying in bed and I'd been suffering from postpartum and I had been crying every day. I couldn't sleep. I was just really bent out of shape after I had my third baby. And I was laying in bed one morning and I was asleep, I think. And this power entered my room, this perfect love this warm, enveloping light, this all-knowing, this intelligent force. And it just enraptured me and kept me uh, in this sort of spiritual, spiritually ed- elevated state for probably, I want to say, at least 30 seconds. It felt like an eternity, but I don't think it was more than maybe a minute, 30 seconds. Um, And it aligned me and attuned me, fine tuned me like a pitchfork. Um, And it just healed me. And from that day forward, it happened the same thing, same time the following morning where I was paralyzed and couldn't move because there was so much love and light and the power of God around me. It happened twice that that first morning and then the second morning at the same exact time and ever since that moment I, I was you know I was able well from that moment my postpartum was gone I was able to sleep peacefully so I'll just never forget when Christ when the power of Christ entered my room and I knew without a shadow of a doubt that God was real. God was perfect. God was all loving. That God was all that mattered. And that I was a daughter, a creation of that power. And so are you. So are you. And if you've never had like, you know, an experience like that, a powerful experience like that, don't get hard on yourself because like, that's the, I, that happened years and years ago, and I haven't had anything even close happen to, to me since that experience. I pray for it to happen again. Oh my gosh, that would be so amazing. But, you know, um, in God's time. But uh, it really, really was something I couldn't even talk about for um, years and years. I just recently started sharing about it because, and that was 15 years ago. Um, because I know it's a testimony and, um, you know, I love that it's called a testimony because testimonies are real, a real test to our faith. And, um, you know, when I wake up in the morning and I tell you that I feel crooked and I've got a lot of work to do, you know, part of my testimony is that, yeah, it does feel that way on most mornings. But then when I come to the throne and I come to God he straightens me out. 
and he puts my heart in the right place and he puts my mind in the right place and I do get a sound mind and a peaceful heart and I am able to love and go out there into the world and be a force of um, you know, goodness, the fruit of the spirit, peace, love, joy, goodness, faithfulness, patience, self-control. Am I missing one? I don't know. But um, I'm able to, to do that only because of the time that I invest in the morning for the Lord. And I don't know what I would do. I don't know how I would ever start my day without that time with God. So if you don't take that time out for God in the morning, try. Pray to the Lord to make you obedient and disciplined enough to be able to carve out that time for him because it is critical. It is absolutely critical. Um, the next word I have for you, and this is not scripture, it's a breakdown of scripture. And it says to overcome and adopt and reverse uh, the powers of the enemy, we need to refuse Satan's devices and our growth in him will bring the same ability to resist and stand against the devil. Be clothed in the full armor of God. Be, armor, be armed with the word of God. Believe him, obey him, and worship him. Receive Christ's overcoming victory. You know, a lot of you said the word victory yesterday in your comments, and you're, you're absolutely right. I have victory already over this. You have victory already over whatever's